Hi, my name is Jason Kickline, and I would love to show you how to get started with OnSong 1.93. To get started, tap on the icon on your tablet home screen. This opens up OnSong. The first thing you'll see is a song. It's a sample song that gives some directions on how you can use OnSong. You probably don't want to play this song. Let's tap on the Songs button in the upper left-hand corner. You'll see an alert box show up which tells us that we can add new songs by tapping on the plus button in the lower right hand corner. Let's close that alert. To add more songs, tap on the plus button. Here we'll see many different ways to add new songs. One of the easier ways is to just look for a song on the internet. Let's tap on the internet option. Here we're given a search bar. Type in a song that you want to find. In this case, I'm going to use the word grace. OnSong will search Cordy.com for songs that match your selection. For instance, here's a song by U2. We can tap on the magnifying glass on the left to see a preview of that song. We just imported the song into our library. You can also tap on songs that you want to put a check mark next to them, and then tap import. Once we come back to our library, we'll see the songs in the list. Tap on a song to view it. Here we have the main screen. You can tap off the menu at any time to see the song full screen. If you tap in the middle of the screen, the menu bar will disappear. You'll also get an alert that tells you that if you tap in the middle again, the menu bar will reappear. Great. Let's change the look of this song. Tap on the Display Preferences menu in the upper right hand corner. Here we can highlight the chords, bold the chords, and we can even transpose the song. Let's transpose it into the key of G. Tap off the menu to close it. You can also tap on the chords to see how to play the chords with different instruments such as piano, guitar, bass ukulele, mandolin, or even banjo. Of course, you probably don't want to just pick songs out of your library of songs. You might want to pull a set to play a number of songs for a specific event or venue. To do that, tap on the Songs button. Go to the My Sets tab in the lower right hand corner. In Sets, you can create a new set, give it a name, and then tap on the name to see your set. Of course, we have no songs in the set right now. We will have to add songs. To do that, tap on the plus button. We're shown our library of songs, and we can simply tap on the songs we want, tap done, and have them appear in our set. Of course, you might not want to play the songs in the same order. To change that, tap edit, and drag the songs into the order you would like to play them and then tap Done. You can then easily navigate through your songs by swiping left or right. You can scroll up and down through your songs by swiping up and down. You can also navigate by simply tapping one of the edges of the screen to go back and forth or to go up and down. For some musicians, you might not have hands while you're playing your instrument. For instance, for guitarists, you need to keep your hands on the instrument and cannot use your fingers to navigate the song. In that case, OnSong has a feature called Auto Scroll. Down in the lower right hand corner of the screen is an area we call the Live Bar. The Live Bar gives access to large buttons you can push while you're playing live. One of these buttons is the Auto Scroll button and it looks like a down arrow. Tap on that button. You'll be prompted for a song duration. OnSong will scroll the song for that length of time. We're going to pick a very short duration to see the auto scroll in action. Once you've 
set the duration, tap onto the down arrow to start auto scroll. You can see it will start scrolling down the page at the given duration. A red line will appear on the left to indicate where we are located on the song. A light red line will appear to show us which section of the song we are in. Sections of the song can be defined by blank lines between lyrics. This is useful if you're using OnSong to project lyrics with a projector or overhead monitor. Also for guitarists, if auto scroll isn't what you think would work for you, you can also purchase a optional Bluetooth foot pedal. The foot pedal will allow you to scroll up and down and also navigate throughout all the songs in your set. Another feature I would like to show you is called low light mode. Low light mode inverts the screen to reduce the amount of stage light. To turn low light mode on, tap on the utilities menu icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap on the settings section, and here you'll see a number of settings that help you configure and customize OnSong to meet your needs. Tap on display settings. Over on the right is low light mode. Turn that on and tap done. Now OnSong inverts everything on the screen, even the menus. To turn low light mode off, simply reverse the procedure. That's all we have time to show you right now. I hope that helps get you started. If you have any ideas for other tutorials, please contact us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks for watching.